My 30-day commitment is, like Monica, is to reach 10 to 12 interviews a day, even if I've completed two other sides of the activity triangle. Uh, what I got the most, I think, out of the, out of the training was why I do what I do. Because before I came, my motivation to keep going was more the financial side of it, which meant that I was having a job instead of a career. So. Bob, I thank you for your participation this week. Um, Cindy Lopatriello is an awesome division manager. Gives us a little bit of a heads up before you, her folks get here, just so that we can be as accurate and as helpful as possible. And uh, she had wonderful things to say about you, and now I know why. You have, in four weeks, he got his renewals, and in four weeks, renewed 55% in four weeks. So your career is only going to be limited by your desire, your effort, uh, your activity. So the sky's the limit. You do as much as you want, but you decide what that is. Cindy will be working with you to be a self-manager. Uh, self she wants you to be her partner. And to the degree that you want to be her partner, she'll be happy to have you do that. So your future's bright. We look forward to seeing your name in lights. My, uh, I guess my 30, uh, 30 day commitment would be to get at least 10 interviews every day. And what impacted me the most was obviously meeting, you know, you all and new friends and everything and meeting Nancy and the motivation and inspiration that I got from Randy. Thanks. Guy is the, uh, cornerstone of our little team and I just wanted to thank him for being not only if you're in the corner, but uh, <laughs> figuratively and literally. Um, but I want to thank Guy for his tenacity. He's the one that uh, sometimes when I would be lost for words, he just stepped right in, took my place. So he was he did, he did great. Okay, then take a moment. Okay, I'm Linda McAllister, and my 30-day commitment is to consistently use the universe to close. And what impacted me most this week was going out in the field and working here in Tennessee with a whole different set of state issues and finding that it's just the same. And then coming back and speaking with all of you about your experiences and finding out that your experiences out there were just like mine. And that was really awesome. Thank you. I'd like to thank Linda for being the rose between two thorns. <laughs> she's been our uh, ray of sunshine every day, and uh, she's all dressed in white today. She's our angel. But uh, Linda, as you proved yesterday, you can go out wherever, and you know that the message is universal, and it works wherever you are. And we appreciate you for all you do. Thank you. Um, wanted to uh, put this on this tape for you. Uh, we've never really done this before. Uh, it's not original with me. A good friend of mine, Ken Greek, sent this to me in an email years ago, but it's never left my mind. You have a choice every day. You can get up in the morning and put on white slacks, a white top, white jacket if it's cool outside, and wear white shoes and look like Linda. <laughs> <laughs> and every call you make, you'll get a little dirt. As the day goes on, you'll find yourself getting dirtier and dirtier and dirtier all day long. Until it's time to go home, and you'll take those dirty clothes, rags home, throw them in the washer with some bleach, throw them in the dryer, and tomorrow, put them on again. And all day long, you got dirty. From the experiences that you have. Or another option is to get up every morning and paint yourself with white paint that won't dry all day long. And everywhere you go, everyone you touch will get some white on them. And at the end of the day, your white will be gone, but you will have put white 
on everyone else. And then at the end of the day, you get to go home and tomorrow morning, paint yourself again. So you'll either take the dirt of the day home or you'll take the white of you out to the world. It is a choice that each of you will make. And with that, we want to say thank you for your participation this week.